Okay, hello people of YouTube, this is Ivan Sama and this is my tutorial on lightsabers. And first of all, just ignore the desktop, uh, it was something I got, I had to do for this tutorial, but, ah, just screw it. Anyway, I have the printer's guy here. Anyway, uh, first thing we're gonna do is open our Adobe After Effects. For me, it's CS3, because the others wouldn't run on my computer much less when I'm recording so I'm just gonna take a while but but you can use this okay so open no uh, import your file I think for me it's this one let's see what happens when I play it yeah you can see it's it's not the original video, it's just something a lot shorter because because that one would have taken me forever. And anyway, next thing you're gonna do is layer new and solid. Make sure the color is white because that's pretty important. And it's gonna cover the whole thing, but don't worry. Just take the pencil and make a like any shape really. And there it is. And now I go to masks couple of times and where it says mask path just click this thing which enables the the, the change of, of shape all right so uh, excuse me I'm a dumbass all right uh, so firstly what we're gonna do is basically the first thing you want to do is uh, I'm gonna I'm getting pretty mad right now, okay. Oh, there it goes. Now I'm gonna have to zoom in a little. Cause uh, don't see anything, okay. So I'm gonna have to find the first frame where the, the lightsaber comes out and just do something like this. Actually, no, none of the other tutorials showed you how to make it come out. And now, let's just move it up a bit. Now, somewhere in the middle right here. Just Well, this is this is not perfect because I'm like trying to to be as fast as I can so I don't break the 15 minute mark because that's gonna be terrible. And now what you're gonna wanna do is basically just move this so that it matches the the stick or whatever you're using. And when it's like a a violent motion and it kind of blows out, you know, like this one there uh, just cover the whole thing cuz cuz it's it's pretty accurate that's how you want it to look uh, wait no like that. Something like that okay so I did it to a certain point that stopped because I figured it was it was useless uh, but here you can see how it actually works uh, it's not as accurate cuz I was wasn't doing that much with job really, but it looks good doesn't it Okay, so okay, the next thing you want to do is uh, okay, I'm back. I'm sorry, I messed up again. So the next thing you're doing is click on your clip with the actor. In this case, me. Delete it. Delete it. There we go. And now make a new layer and. Uh, Make it black. Make it black. There we go. And uh, what was it? Make a comp. All right. Now drag it all the way to the bottom so you can see your your you know sword. Oh, this looks actually pretty bad. 
but that doesn't matter it's because it hasn't actually rendered okay and now uh, what you're gonna do is click on your white solid and you're gonna want to duplicate it three more times there we go that's three right one two three four yeah okay so the next thing uh, is select damn you select all your whites and hit F there we go so now what you're gonna do is uh, on the first one where it says mask feather go and make it one the second one will be three the fourth one five and uh, second and this one make it like 45 I don't I'm, I'm improvising but 45 looks nice all right so there it is this is done now what you're gonna do is take your actors clip and drag it to the where's the new comp is the new comp oh, I missed. oh, holy crap. oh yeah there it is and okay so this is just the, the actor again me why do you call myself the actor because I'm the sorry uh, now take this composition that already has the the. Make sure it fits the center. What did I just do? Did I screw it up? I'm not sure if I made it right. Let me just delete this and drag it in again. No. Oh, no, it's no. Oh, there we go. And make sure it fits right back, right, right there. Okay, so now you go to. You right click it, and you go to blending mode, and you hit screen. Oh, yeah, so there it is. Well, this looks so nice. <laughs> See, it kind of glows. Okay, and the next thing you do is effect color correction. Where is it? Color balance. I'm sorry, color balance. Color balance. I need some. Alright, so now you get to choose w what color you want your, your lightsaber. And if you want it red, all the ones that say, you know, red, you're gonna get them to a hundred. There, I, I like red. Never had a red lightsaber. Make sure this is clicked because it, it just screws it up if it no, it's not. You know, it says preserve lumin. I can't even pronounce that. Yeah, you can make it. You can you can experiment like you know, make it different. There, that's that kind of sucks. Um, zero. I like green zero. Okay. This one goes to a hundred. There it goes. It's a it's a red lightsaber. Okay. Let, let's then let's view the whole thing now. All right. So it opens and it stops because it can render with Camtasia Studio. All right. There it goes. It's, it's not perfect because I did really fast, but but I, th I still think it looks good. I'm pleased with what we got. And the last few seconds suck. If if you okay, so this is basically all you have to do is render it. Uh, if you if you want some uh, some lightsaber sounds, go to theforce.net and there's a search bar. Just type in lightsaber sounds, and you're gonna find some awesome ones uh, like the ones on my uh, on my uh, vlog video, which you're gonna see the link to right now, right here. Okay. So this is it from me, uh, if you like it subscribe, if you have questions comment, give me a thumbs up, share the video with your friends so they can make lightsabers too.